Hello everyone. Good evening. This is Tiasha from Vedic Maths Forum India. Um, so I hope you all are doing very well. Uh, so today we are going to start with the topic uh, squaring of numbers uh, using the Vedic Maths techniques. So I'm just waiting for some people to join uh, so that I can start off. I'll wait for two more minutes and then we can start off. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Uh, first, we'll do squaring of numbers ending with 5. So, suppose uh, let's take a number 15. Suppose 15 square. So, how are we going to do 15 square? So, uh, 15 is actually a pretty easy number. So, 15 we all know it's 22 to 5. But how will you get to this number very fast? So uh, let's understand that. So what is 5 squared? We all know that 5 squared is uh, 25. And from here, we take the one and we take the next number of one. So we do one plus one, which is equal to two. So the number becomes 225. So 225 is 15 squared is 225. So let's move on. Let's take another number. Let's take a bigger number this time. Let's suppose take uh, 65. So here in the same way, we'll do 25, which is five square. And here we do six into six plus one, which is seven. So it is six into seven, which is 42. So 65 square is four two two five. So that's how easy it is. So let's take another number, a bigger number again this time. Let's take uh, 95 square. So again, in the same way, we again do five square, which is 25. And here we do nine into 10, which is 90. So the whole number turns out to be nine zero Five. So 95 square is 9025. So any number ending with 5, you can apply this method, which is I am sure you'll, you have find it very easy. Uh, by this, you can solve it within, uh, you know, split seconds. Uh, let's go above uh, 100 this time. Let's take 115. Square. So here also we'll do the same thing. 25. And here we'll go 11 into 12. Which is, I suppose you all know what 11 into 12 is, which is 132. So 111, 115 square turns out to be 132. To five. So that's how easy it is. Okay, so moving on, this was our first method in which we can take up any numbers ending with five and square it pretty easily. So next moving on to what we call the base method. So let's start with an easy number, suppose 13. 
So we want to do 13 square. So base, what do you mean by base? So base is something which is like say suppose 10, 100, 1000. Okay, these are the base numbers. So can you tell me which number is closest to 13? Which of the base numbers is closest to 13? So yes, you have guessed it right, it's 10. So what we have to do is, we have to take this number, subtract it from 10 and take out the difference, which is three. So the difference, so always remember one thing in the base method, uh, what is your base? You have to know that and how, and what is the number? So the number, you have to always uh, find the difference, divide from the number, divide the base from the number. So now, we make a partition. Here we write the difference and we do square of the difference, which is nine. And here we do 13 plus three, which is basically 16. So the number turns out to be 169, which is 13 square is equal to 169. Pretty easy, right? Let's take suppose 19 this time, okay? So 19 square. So again, let's do it pretty fast this time. So we take base as uh, 10. You always have to uh, subtract it, subtract the number first from the base. So the difference is nine. So again, nine square, which is equal to 81. And here we do 19 plus nine. So is this the answer? No, this is not the answer. So why is that so? Because as you can see here, here is where the base, you have to remember, I told you before, you have to remember the base. So we have to only consider that we have base 10. Okay, so there is one zero. So we will take only one number from here, one number from 81 which is one and the eight goes on as a carry over to 28, which becomes 28 plus eight, which is 36. So the answer here is 30, 361. So 19 squared is basically 361. So you always have to remember that the base, the digit, how many zeros are there in the base number, only that many digits can be taken from the difference part. Moving on, let's uh, take a bigger number this time. Suppose say 97. So 97 square. So our base number, the nearest number to 97 is 100. So we'll take 97 minus 100. So, you know, we are subtracting a smaller number from the bigger number this time. So our difference will be minus three. So again, pretty quickly, we take minus three whole square, which is basically nine. And here we take 97 minus three. Which is 94. So, so is this the answer? So no, this is not the answer. Our answer actually is 9409. Why is this so? Because there are two zeros in our base. So even though we have got a unit digit in the difference part, but we still have to add a zero over here. So it will be 94 
zero nine. This is wrong. So nine four zero nine is the correct answer. So let's take ninety ninety eight squared this time. So again, ninety eight minus hundred, which is equal to minus two. Here minus two whole square, which is four. Don't forget two zeros. So zero four, and here ninety eight minus two, which is basically ninety six. So our answer here is nine six zero four. So you see, it is pretty easy. Within like five seconds, I could have. I could get to the answer here. Let's go more than hundred this time. So one zero five whole square. So one zero five minus hundred, which is equal to five. Again, we make this division twenty five here because we are getting it. The difference is five, so five square, which is twenty five, and here we do one zero five plus five, so it is one one zero and two five from here. So one zero five whole square is one one zero two five. So that's how you, that's how fast you can actually get to the. Uh, get the answers for squaring using Vedic maths. Okay, so let's move on to another method. Um, so, so this time we are going to use a very famous formula, which is a plus b whole square. So all of us know that what is uh, uh, the expansion of this formula. Which is a square plus two ab plus b square. So let's try writing it in a different way. Let's say a square plus ab. Let's write the two ab in this form and b square. Okay, so you have to remember. This pattern right over here, okay. And solve it. Okay, so let's uh, start with the smaller number this time. Suppose seventeen square. Okay, so how are we going to uh, solve this using this method? So let's suppose that the a is one, seven is the b. So you have to remember the pattern that a square plus two ab plus b square. So what is a square? A square is one. What is b square? It is forty nine. Seven square, which is forty nine. And what is ab? So it is one into seven plus one into seven. So let's divide this into three parts. So here you can see seven plus seven. So we have to add this part. So we come to fourteen. Seven plus seven, which is fourteen. Here it is forty-nine, and here we bring down the one. So is our uh, Seventeen square one one four double four nine. No, it's not. So here, how do we do it? So we take the nine from forty nine, take the four over to fourteen, add fourteen plus four, which is basically eighteen. Take the one, carry over to the one, and this becomes two eighty nine. So seventeen square is two eighty nine. That's how easy it is. You just have to know this formula. You just have to visualize it in your mind, and you can easily get to the 
easily get to the solution. So moving on, let's take a bigger number this time. Let's take 68 square. So again, I'm not going to write again A and B. So you know, uh, okay, so let's just write it. Uh, let's take A to be six, uh, B to be eight. So pretty fast, 36 over here, 64 over here, dividing into two, dividing into three parts. So what is six into eight? Six into eight is 48. So we have to add this two times because 2AB. Take 64 from here, we take 36 from here. And this is 96. So this turns out to be 4624. How? We bring down the 4 from here, take the 6 over to 96. This becomes 102. 10 is added over to 36. 10 is added over to 36 and the number turns out to be 4624. So the last problem for today, let's take 92 squared. Okay. So we take 9 squared, which is 81, which is our first part. The last part, which is 2 squared, which is 4. And here 9 into 2, 18 plus 18, which is 36. And here we take 81. So the total turns out to be 48464. So thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed uh, the squaring sessions. Uh, hope to see, see you soon in the next session. Thank you so much. Like this video, share with your friends uh, and do let us know how you liked it. And comments in the, uh, put your comments in the below panel. Thank you so much.